Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the tutorials on how to run Linux commands using your browser. For this episode, we are going to use the platform called Kukab. And this is the page. I'm going to leave the link to this page in the description box, so please use that to also get to this page. Kokak allows you to do data science projects as a group and also as an individual. So it's a cool platform that has a lot of resources for you. Now, Kokak offers two types of accounts. We have um, the free accounts and we also have paid um, accounts. So with the paid accounts, you make some payments and you get access to um, additional features that uh, you wouldn't get if you are using a free account. So you just sign up here to get your account and you can now look at the pricing to also pay um, for the package that you want. But you'll be fine if you are using some basic tax. You'll be fine using the free account. There's also this option where you, you, you use Coca without having to create an account. And that one, you have to log in as an Anonymous user. And so for that, you use the button here. When you scroll down, there's this blue button called Try Coca. And that is what we are going to use. So please click on that. And so once you click on that, you'll be sent to another page, which is here. So that is use Coca anonymously. So click on it. And then you'll be sent to another page. So after successfully logging in as an anonymous user, you have this page showing. Now Coca allows you to um, organize your activities, organize your files as projects. Let me put it that way. So on the page here, if you are following my Kessa, you see there's a project tab here. So when you click on that, you are sent to another page where um, you get a list of the projects um, that um, you have. Because we are using an anonymous account, we can only have access to one project, and that is this one here. Uh, we are also uh, prevented from creating extra projects. So let me say you don't have access um, to create other projects aside the one that you have been given. So that is how um, the Anonymous user account has been set up. So to go back to your project, you can just go to the tab here, just click on it. Or if you are still on the project page, you can just click on the project here. So it is welcome to Coca. So just click on it. By default, if you are using the anonymous account, then a file is also created for you automatically. And so here, yeah, the file that was created for us is the welcome to coca.ipynb. This is the file. Okay. Now with Coca, you have access to other programming environments. R, Python, C++, and others. So there's a lot of things you can do, but our focus today is on Linux. So that is what we do. So looking at this file here, when the file is created, you need to also select a kernel uh, for it. So the kernel is more like the environment, the programming environment um, that you want to use for um, your activity. So you just um, select the appropriate kernel and then just runs and uh, it, it runs for you. So that is what we are going to do. So um, let's scroll down from, from here, let's scroll down a bit and then you see another section here called All Kernels by Language. So we are using Linux, so we are going for bash. So click on bash and then you have this entry box being displayed here for you. Let me just enlarge it. So here you can enter your Linux commands or bash commands or whatever. So let's say echo hello world and let's run it. So it will display the output for us. And there it is, hello world. Let's say my name is my name. Yeah, let me just use this one. My name equals bioinformatics coach. Let's print it by issuing the echo command, echo dollar, my name. They should be in double quotes. So let's run it and it's there. Let's create an integer value. So we say declare dash i, my number equals two. 
let's print it echo dollar my number let's run it so that's the student so let's bash environment so this is how we use um, the coca platform to get um, your bash commands running so these are files so you can actually save this files. you can even rename them you can just save uh, rename make a copy and a whole lot of others you can just it's it's just a cool platform okay so you can download or even upload files as well so this file here is for this project welcome to coca that's a project so from project you move to files so if you want to let's say rename you can just come here to file and then just rename here okay so but if you are renaming Pay attention to the extension here, it's very important because the extension also helps Cocap to determine which kernel to use to run your, 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 your codes or commands. So let's rename it, let's say bash1, let's rename it. Okay, so we have renamed it. So if you rename, you can just click on it again. And then to open for you, let's say, let's say this will work. Run PWD. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that one also works. So there's a Linux command. Okay. So that's how we do it for renaming. You can also create new files. So let's try and create a new file here. So go to file, go to new, and then let's create a file. Let's say bash2 let's say bash2 now when you are creating a file you need to also um, the file extensions will determine which kernels to also use now here it's asking you this question what would you like to create a Jupyter notebook linux terminal and then sage worksheets or what what because we are looking at linux we can just click on what linux terminal here so there's a linux terminal okay so so notice the file extension dot term so it's a terminal so let's say pwd so it's a terminal so it's interactive so once you enter a code you can just hit enter yeah let's say ls okay let's say touch my file dot txt and there let's say ls again so you can just be um, pushing your commands there because this is now a Linux terminal. Okay, so this is for Linux terminal. Now let's create a new file again. Let's go to file. Or you can even go back to project here. Let's go back here. And then you can just click on it. I mean, if it's there, you have projects, click on it here. You have your terminal. So you also have your files here. Notice we had what? Batch 2. We also have bash1 there's another file that we created so these files will be what in different tabs or in separate tabs now let's create another file there's something i want to show you go to new good now these ones here are kind of environments here but if let's say you want to run bash commands then you can just come to what would you like to create here and then just go to Jupyter Notebook, but of course, you can just name it first, so let's say bash3, so Jupyter Notebook here allows you to run other stuff as well, so you can just click on Jupyter Notebook, so this allows you to run your bash commands, okay, so once you create and select Jupyter Notebook, then you can now select the kernel that you want to use, okay, so here is um, the kernel you recently used, bash Linux, so you can just come here, and then just select the bash Linux again. So that's the third file. So just issue your command ls all all those things. So just do it and get your um, commands done. Of course, sometimes there will be a lag in time, but it should be fine because we are using a free account, and that's why it is. So that's how it is. Now let's look at the other one. Let's go to file new. So if Whatever you need is not here. You can just come to more file types and then just select the one you want. 
okay but because we are not with linux you can just go with linux terminal or you can go with jupyter notebook and select the kernel okay so let's go back to jupyter notebook and then let's wait for it to load so because it's bash so you can just select it as we did previously so that's how it is okay so that's how we do it if um, you are using the anonymous accounts now let's say this page here this tab here you accidentally closed it uh, let's close it coca store saves your session so if you reload the page like this one here so if you reload it you realize that coca store saves your session okay it says sign in as an anonymous user and so you have your session so if you are on this page like this you can just scroll down let me just minimize you can just scroll down and then come to view your coca projects so click on it here and after clicking you'll be sent to your project page where you can just click projects here or you can just come to welcome coca here and you just click on it and you have access to your files the list of files here so here you can still go to new create file as we did or you can close it you can just come back to projects yeah we have your files here you can just close and get back to the list here okay and then here you can just select click and then just select new files i mean there are lots of things you can do you can even download let's say you want to download your files you can just select the ones you want to download and then just click on download or you can also upload there are lots of things you can do upload here you can upload download you can delete rename duplicates and there's a lot of things you can do with this um, cool platform okay so this is how we do it with the anonymous accounts and please know that if you are using the anonymous accounts and then you just sign out you also lose your work so it's important you create a user account and use that to perform your tasks if let's say you had a user account okay you've created an account which has been verified like this one here it's still the same process here i am signing as a bioinformatics coach this is my, my my channel so here you can just scroll down just as we did with um, the previous one just click on view coca projects and then you can now create projects okay because here we are using an actual account which has been verified you can now go to create projects so create new projects and then you can just name let's say my projects one you can create the projects and then after creating the projects you now start the project here so once you click on the start project you just uh, wait for it loads and notice this text here which is uh, having this red background it's just telling you you are using a free account and so and um, some of the resources you not have it like maybe um, performance because it says what performance you should expect it to be bad that is 10 times slower okay and you also can't install packages and clean from github these are things that you'll be able to do if you're using um, a paid um, accounts okay so that's how it is so if you start a project you can come to new and then just create files just as we did and select and the terminal or Jupyter notebook or whatever and just use all of these things as well so and that's how it is so with coca there are a lot of things you can do not just about linux itself but um, a lot of things you can do related to um, data science work so um i think this has been useful i believe it has and you can also send your comments and then let's discuss and then just look at how things go from here so that'll be all for this tutorial and thanks for watching see you in the next session goodbye